I heard that the king is making an announcement today about Myron and his squadron. Well, as king of this elf nation, the hard decisions always are going to fall on me. I've made my decision. I will inform them later. Good day to you both. I hope you understand. Yo, yo, it's Ropo, guys. Welcome back for a brand new Dragons video. Finally, we are back in, and I'm just awake, and I'd imagine Jack is awake too, but I gotta get rid of my armor real quick. Let me just pop it up here, because I don't think we need our armor. I mean, we had our big battle last week with the Fire Nation, and then we ran into those two... What was his name? Oh, hey, Ropo. Whoa, 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 duty. What? Whoa, dude, are you awake already? I was expecting you to still be in bed. No, I, I had to take Breeze out for, you know, his morning fly. Ooh, very good. You were taking this whole dragon training thing seriously, bro. Good job. I like it. I know, right? I'm Ooh, awesome. You don't have to tell me. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, you make me tell you all the time. But anyway, okay, yeah, Breeze is looking good. Is Breeze getting a little bit bigger? He, yeah, he's put on a little bit of weight. He's just a bit like you now, but... Don't, don't say it to him, it might upset his feelings. Yeah, okay. We don't care about you, of course. Yeah, but, you but, don't care about my feelings, yeah, obviously. No. But but anyway, yeah, Breeze is looking pretty good. He's looking pretty strong. I like it. What about Ash? Because Ash had a bit of a turmoil, a bit of like a bit of a craziness happening oh, to him last time. Oh, you mean the time. time when you let him get captured at like, uh, that, that time Did by poachers? Stop, stop, stop blaming me, but the poachers, what was it? Marco and Franco or Frank? Marco and Frederick. How do oh, you not yeah, remember Frederick. their names? I, I you're, you're, get, you're getting them down. Whatever, whatever. But Ash is all good, guys. He wasn't injured in the process. We got him back. But unfortunately, we did lose our Ice Dragon Bone Swords, which was not good because those things were super powerful and super awesome. But Jack, what do we want to do today? Uh, oh yeah, over here. Did you see that I kind of made the um, the little egg hatching incubator place a little bit bigger? No. So come on, check check it out. I made it a little bit bigger because I feel like when these eggs do hatch, that they're going to explode out of this thing and go everywhere. So I made it a little bit bigger so they have a little bit more room. And it looks like they're going to be nice and hot, nice and warm in there, but cold at the same time because we do think that these are ice dragons or they could be some sort of wind dragons. I don't know what they are, or dude. Or frozen dragon. Frozen dragon, yeah. It could be cool. Oh, by the way, what? Um, I was chilling like a villain with the guys over the other side. Oh, yeah? It, Myron what? and his crew. My, okay, yeah. Let, let's bounce up to Myron and see and what's going on. He said something about, I don't know, urgency or something. Go and see him urgently. I, I can't Urgen? remember. Okay, well, hold on. Um, but that was like two hours ago, so maybe... Well, maybe why I'm did not. you come with me? You got up so early today. Okay, hey, warrior, what's up? Um, Okay, Myron's not... You. He's usually at this post here. He, he must be back at his place. Let's go down and check it out. Um. Yeah, and he, when, he, when he said to me, he was like, oh, you, you, really, you, you have to get Ropo, like, right right now. And I was like, oh, And you Ropo's waited, like, two like, hours? Ropo, we all know that you need your beauty sleep, or else you're, like, a diva all day I get, I get, I get a little bit cranky. He, he, he is right. Okay, um, Myron, what's happening, bro? Uh, I like your little natter. Oh, we're, we're, Coming over now. We're, like, Coming three in best hey, friends. Myron. We oh. all have natters. Uh, yeah, Myron, what's happening? Jack was saying there's something going down. Um, Yeah, what, what, what's up, dude? Uh, good morning, Ropo. Good morning, Jack. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Okay, it doesn't seem too early. I'm great. I I'm asked that girl up there that you brought with you on a date. And she said no, but look, at least I tried. Uh, really? Asking a warrior on a date, dude? He's like, okay. Uh, anyway, Myron, yeah, both of us are really good, dude. What's up with you? What's going down? He said, uh, that's good. I have just received word from, from the king. He requests that you visit our kingdom without delay, as he has information regarding your protection. He wishes to discuss. Uh-oh. Um, okay, I have I have no further details on the matter, but he sounded as is though it was urgent. I hope you respect his wishes and get to him promptly. We'll continue to keep guard until you return with further instruction. Godspeed, Ropo and Jack. Um, okay, Myron. Uh, thanks, dude. We'll, we'll see you soon. Jack, get over here. That dude. doesn't sound too good. Dude, the key is going Do you think he heard that I asked the girl on the date? No, That's I don't think it's had to do with the date, protection. dude. But I think he might take these guys off us because, I mean, they did owe us a favor. And, I mean, they have been with us for over a week. So we probably should have got guards of our own by now. And plus the like, whole thing... Oh, like raid a slave camp and make sure that the slaves go free and then they come and live with us on our island, in our nation. 
Mm, okay, maybe that that could be a thing, but I don't know if there's any slave camps around the place. But anyway, whatever, dude. But seriously, we're gonna lose our guards. This is not good. Maybe the the elf king is just kind of a bit worried because we let Ash get captured by the poachers and. Okay, I don't want to speculate too much, but this is not good, dude. We're going to have to find new people to join our nation. I mean, the Inferno Nation is just me and you, uh, and that's it. We're going to need, like, more people to join. Um, have you got any friends? Mm, not really. I mean, Tiny Turtle and Scuba Sea are in their own nation, so, I mean... Uh... Yeah, I've got no friends either. Yeah, okay, that's no good. Okay, right, well, I'm on Ash. Let's get to the Elf Nation, because it looks as if the king wants to speak to us pretty urgently, and I have a feeling that it's about taking the elves back. Oh, this is guys. not good, bro, bro. Not good at all. All right, Ash, chill the beans there, bro. And Ash is a little bit tetchy around other places now. I think he's still a little bit scared after getting captured that time. Of course he... Are you... Wait a minute. What? Are you actually going to leave him here on his own again? Ah, come on. Breeze is with him. We're in the elf nation. I mean, they're dragons. we got to trust them a little bit to look after themselves, Jack. Come on, bro. I don't got to lie, Robo. If that dragon goes missing again, I'm you. And we have to give up another sword. That's it. Yeah, okay. Well, we yeah. I mean, if they... Yeah, yeah. If that happens, I, yeah, I'll be pretty impressed. Oh, storm cutter. They're so cool looking, Robo, aren't they? Yeah. I feel like this week we should go and look for our own storm cutters. Because, I mean, we need to fortify our place like we need new members. We need new dragons, and I mean, those eggs don't look like they're gonna hatch for a while. And storm cutters are super cool. I mean, they've got loads of them here. Uh, we, we could ask, we could ask the elf nation, even if they, well, the elf king, even if he is taking Myron and his guys back, mm, could he yeah. maybe leave the dragons behind? I don't think so, dude. I mean, if he's taking his warriors, he's definitely taking his dragons. But let's just see if we can find him, man. I mean, everyone around here looks super busy and stuff. I am really worried that Myron and the boys are going to be it's gone. Mr. Big Fat Dragon. No, it's not, dude. That's way smaller than Mr. Big Fat Dragon. Come on. The, dra the Dragon Seer Dragon is absolutely gigantic. Now, focus up. Oh, oh, there's, there's the, the king. king. There's the king. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hey, warriors. What's up? I see you're protecting the king. Um, hey, hey, king. What's happening? Um... So, uh, we were talking to Myron, and he said you had a message for us. Uh, but before you, you start... Uh, well, well, tell him we're grateful. Uh, well, stop talking to girls. Get over here. Uh, anyway, King. Yeah, hey, hey dude. You, you you sent for us? Oh, well, Jack, seriously? Um, oh, Ropo, Jack, sorry about the urgency at which I requested you to come here. I was given some information about what happened to your dragon, Ash. He doesn't like it. Uh, he was caught and held hostage by poachers, right? Well, the yeah. The thing is, okay, the, we, what uh, happened was we found this like real secret, super looking cave. So mm -hmm. we decided to go down and explore. Yeah. And, and and Breeze would fit down, but, but Ash wouldn't because Ash was too big. But we mm -hmm. thought that Ash would be able to handle himself, but clearly not. So then we had to go to the... Actually, no, I'll uh, uh, just let the king talk. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Your Highness. Yeah, um, Your Highness, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Um, we had to give up our Ice Dragon swords to the poachers, so it was a bit of a bad day. But we got through and Ash didn't get hurt. He said, well, we also heard that you surrendered your uh, new Icebone Dragon Swords. Yeah, we did. This was a huge sacrifice as they are one of the most powerful swords you can be that can be crafted. Yeah, we kind of know that now. Uh, with them, you're uh, virtually unbeatable. However, every cloud has a silver lining. You show by giving up your swords that you have unbelievable loyalty towards your dragons. Well, that we do. Um, if you have this amount of loyalty for your dragons, we can only imagine the, ally uh, the allegiance you would have towards the men and women of your nation. Yeah, well, we need to get some first. Uh, we would like to offer you Myron and his squadron to you on a permanent basis. Oh, this is the opposite of what I thought was happening. Uh, they have spoken highly of you and wish to join your nation. We look for nothing in return, only that we... Uh, ever come under attack we can call on your nation for assistance do you agree on these terms um hold on we'll discuss this your highness dude this is the best thing ever those warriors are like super like awesomely trained they're unreal and the elf king is just like saying that we just have to help them sometimes if something goes wrong that is like a no-brainer so we're gonna turn this off for down right Oh my god. Um, yeah, your highness, we, we love your offer. Thank you so much. Um, as long as Myron and his squadron are happy to join our nation, we would love to get them fully fledged into the Inferno Nation. 
Okay, he said, excellent. May your great, uh, may our great nations continue to assist each other in the future. Goodbye, Ropo and Jack. Um, Elf King, thank you so much. That that's amazing. We bow down to you, sir. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your Highness. Goodbye, sir. Dude, we need to get back to Morin and the boys super hold fast. On, but, hold on. But... Chill, chill, chill the beans. Chill the beans. What? What is it? Okay. To make these guys feel truly accepted, Robo, we mm -hmm. gotta give them something from our nation. And what I'm thinking is, we give them these bad boys. Well, I mean, to be part of the Inferno Nation, you do have to have a flame dragon bone sword. So... Okay, you got a spare? No, I gave my spare to you, because Tiny Turtle only gave me two of them, and that's how we have them, because I got one and you got one, and we don't have any So... Anymore. We're basically going back and asking people to join our nation without giving them anything in return. That's not going to go down to it. Ooh. Okay, well, all we got to do is find four more of these swords. I mean, that's easy, right? Well, as far as I know, Robo, these swords aren't to be found. More so craft. Yeah, dude, they're made from dragon bone swords that are enchanted with dragon blood, but not just any Well, blood. hold on. Let's let's think about things for a second. Okay, walk and talk. Walk and talk. Yeah, the only okay. person that's so really going to... who's gonna... the most nosiest person you've ever thought of in your own Yeah, I know the both of us I are know, thinking. I know your shrone is fairly big there, but but, but don't worry. It's yeah, not they you. don't know what shrone means, okay? Shrone means nose in Irish, and you were saying I've got a big nose, okay? Okay, my real name. Oh, yeah, just, Giant. Just, no. Just, 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 oh, okay. All right. Just, just, just leave it out. Okay. We're both thinking the same thing, dude. We need to get to the dragon seer because he knows everything about everything, and he'll know where we can get. Um, he'll know like the the perfect way to craft these things because I'm kind of only guessing with the whole blood and bone thing. But he'll know everything what to do. So we've got to go well, to him. I right? wasn't really planning on seeing him, but okay. Oh, I thought you were. What were you gonna say? I was thinking about the elder brothers, but anyway. Hmm. I suppose we should only go to them in a time of true crisis. Yeah, true. Okay, well, um, either way, uh, we'll go check the Dragon Seer. If it doesn't play out with him, we can go to the Elder Bros. Right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, and look, by the way, Ash didn't run away or get kidnapped. For a change. Oh. <gasps> uh, you all right there, Jack? You're going to have to get him to come, come in, huh? Oh, well, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That, that... Ropo, you know what? Ooh. We crazy. really have to get our dragon license. Do you know the license for the dragon flyer for the road thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon license, bro. Yeah, whatever. Okay, come on. Let's just get up to the dragon seer, see how he is, and ask him about these whole sword situations and how we're going to get them and make it easier for ourselves because we know that he knows everything about everything. So, yeah, let's just do it. Imagine me that nosy, honestly. Like, can you imagine? Ruppo, he's down here. What? Oh, I thought he was up further. Hold on. I, 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 did I miss him? Where is he? He's, he's in here. Oh, oh, hey, bro. Sorry, you're usually up top. Don't um, call him bro. Oh, get over it. We what always... is with your etiquette? Etiquette. Okay. Mr. Dragon CSR, how do you do? My name now is... You're just, now you're just making fun of him. Just talk to him normally and just say, hello, Mr. Dragon Seer, sir. Hello, Mr. Dragon Seer, sir. Um, okay. What's going down? So we, we, we um basically need more of these toys. What? Yeah, I just put it like that. Ah, Ropo and Jack, you guys are looking to craft flame dragon bone swords for your four new members of your nation, the Elf King sent you. What? What? what, what How what? does he know all of that information already? What is it? What did he say? He, he just said, hey, Robo Jack, you're looking for to craft flame dragon's bone swords for your new four members of the of your nation, the Elf King sent you here, right? To get, wow. How do you know everything already? That's exactly That's right. I think you underestimate my ability to see and know everything. And there is a few steps involved in this quest. Are you up for the task? 100% we are, bro. Um, bro, I thought, stop calling him bro. Oh my God. Um, I thought you might say that. Uh, the thing is, I do not know the items needed to craft a blade. I do, however, know how to get the recipe for it. Ooh, okay. Well, how do we do that, broski? I mean, uh, sir, um, I will give you the manuscript and an enchanted book. Jack, take them from the shelf behind me. Uh, it's the empty one. Uh, you see, it's empty, you see. What? The thing is that the book is what? magical. What? not in this book. No, no, no. He says it's it here. A joke. He says the book is empty. He said it's magical. What? Just, just, just let, me, let me see. Okay. Uh, you must travel far and high into the sky to the... 
Angelark Island. That's pretty cool. Uh, Angelark Island? Yeah, it's probably Angel. Not Angel. Angel. Oh, did you actually say Angel? Well, I got the L and the E mixed up. Chill. Okay, if you make it there in the middle of the island, there will be an enchanted uh, l lantern? Lectern. Lectern. What is a lectern? A lectern is like something that... Um... Did you ever go to school and there was like... Okay, whatever. Uh, Place the empty book and manuscript into the lectern and the ancient crafting re recipe for the blade will appear. That's all the information I have for you guys now. I must get back to my watching post. Goodbye, Ropo and Jack. Oh, Dragon Seer, you freak me out, dude. But I, but I really like the fact that you always give us what we want. You're awesome. Thanks, bro. Okay, show me what he gave us. He gave us that. Okay. And that. Okay, so he gave us a manuscript Nothing. and a book and quill. Oh. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, he did say a lot of things there that sounded like he knew what was going on, but I mean, he just gave us a manuscript and a book and quill, told us to search far and high, and then find it. What? Is this really going to work, dude? How am I supposed to know, Robo? I mean, we're just going... We're, we're all brand new on this scene, let's be fair. Mm. So basically, we have to... Oh, I know what to do. Rubbo. What? Give Ash a sniff of the manuscript. And oh, the yeah. Book. Yeah, yeah. Ash, sniff the manuscript. Oh, 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 okay. He, oh, 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 he likes it. He likes it. Is oh, he okay. Is oh, he oh, 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 oh. Yep, we go on. We go well, on. He's definitely oh. going the wrong way because oh. he said oh. go high into the sky. Oh, no, no, no. He's changing it up now. Oh, okay, he's going higher again. Oh, that was, a, that, was, that was intense. I didn't really know what he was doing there, but okay, he seems to be sniffing it out now. Wait, he's going. No, no, no. He's going right, but no, no. Okay, now he's going left. Okay, dude, j j just follow me, bro. I don't think he really knows where he's going, but maybe he does. Just, just come this way. Okay, I'm right behind. You. Whoa, dude, what is this place? It's insane looking. It's like a totally floating island on a pedestal kind of a theme, a jiggery. Well, that's what angels do. They float. Hmm, okay, I thought it was the angle. You just can't read, Robo. I think you're <laughs> like an idiom or something that just can't Ah, read. whatever, dude. I got my LME mixed up. Okay, well, dude, this place is super cool. Okay, so I've got the book and quill thing and the manuscript. Are you sure there wasn't anything else? I should have checked because I don't really trust you. The dragon no, there was you... nothing else. What have you got in your hand? Nothing. Okay. What have you got in your hand? My grappling hook. No, there's a brown book that looks different to the book and quill one. Okay, do you know what? Hmm. Just whatever. I don't care what you have, but I know you've got something. And uh, let me see. Place book and quill in magical chest. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, book and quill in the magical chest. And then here's this lectern thing. Okay, put the manuscript in the lectern, but... You definitely have another book, don't you? Just give me it. Why are you not, why are you not giving it to me? I knew you had something extra. This is the whole lectern thing, right? Okay, hold I, on. I don't know. I, I just, I seen the two books. I took both of them. You ooh, know, ooh. Okay, the manuscript looks like it's going into the lectern book. So something is definitely happening. That looks like super cool. And I've got the book and quill in the magical chest thing as well. So, ooh, ooh, What's going on? Ooh, ooh, it's ready. It's ready. Ooh. What? What's ready? What's ready? I am excited about this, bro. Okay, I'm gonna take out this thing first. Okay, the bestiary thing. It's got the manuscript in it now, so I think it's got like more stuff. Okay, it's got loads of stuff. Fire dragon eggs, ice dragon eggs. This is everything we need to know about dragons, dude. Okay, dragon materials. Um, dragon bones are used in many recipes, but are mostly for crafting tools and weapons. Okay, so something tells me that we need dragon bones for these swords, right? I don't know. Okay, let me see materials. And it says stuff well, it is about... called a dragon bone Ooh. sword, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon bone sword, dragon blood. Okay, there's loads of stuff in this that we need to know. Blood alchemy. Oh yeah, look, check it out. Okay, so it says uh, combining either fire or ice blood with a dragon bone sword. I was able to infuse the two more and likely impose the opposite dragon. Oh, so that's how you do it. Okay, we need. Oh, sweet. Okay, let me see what book is in here. Flame Dragon Bone Sword. Whoa, that chest was magical. Okay, let me see what it says in here. Um, to craft a flamed dragon bone sword, you must first craft a dragon bone sword. To craft this blade, you will need the following materials. One, two dragon bones. Two, one withered dragon bone. Okay. 
Dragon bones are not easy to find. There is a place, however, where old, old and sick dragons go as uh, to their final resting place. Oh, okay. This place is Vulcan Island. Bones are plentiful there. But to craft a flame dragon bone sword, you will also need fire dragon blood. To obtain this, you will need to loot the carcass of a dead dragon. Ugh, gross. Ugh. Okay, once all the materials have been gathered, uh, make your way to the top of Vulcan Island. There will be a volcano and in the center will be an enchanted crafting table. Use this to craft the indestructible flame dragon sword blade. Oh, sick, bro. Okay, this is exactly the stuff that we need. Dragon Seer is awesome, and this place is awesome because I mean... so basically, per sword, per blade, we need two oh, dragon yeah. bones, one withered dragon bone, and uh, uh... and blood, the dragon blood. fire from a dra fire dragon. Okay, okay, so we need eight dragon bones, four withered dragon bones, and four vials of uh, blood from a fire dragon. Yeah. Okay, let him let Ash sniff the book crumple. Okay, okay, okay. Um let me see. Here you go, Ash. Get a whiff of that thing and get us to the Vulcan Island. Um I'm not really sure where this place is, but I mean Ash knows where everything is, so okay, yep, we're up. We're going. He Wait, he's, awesome. He seems to be diving down, bro. Come on, follow me, let's go. Okay, Jack, I think we're here, dude. This is definitely a gigantic volcano, and there seems to be dragon nests everywhere as well, bro. Bro, well, I'm right up the top here, okay? Ooh. And all I can see is dead dragon bones everywhere. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, there's like a huge one right under me, dude. Oh, oh, this, dude, there's a dead fire dragon up here. Okay, that's a good place for me to start because fire dragons is what we need, right? Okay, okay, I'm gonna try... Oh, I don't want to put Ash down because, like, this is a place for dragons to come to die and Ash will probably think I'm gonna come to kill him or something. No, this is weird, bro. Well, Ropo, after all, you put him through. Up. Okay, days. chill you, chill. Okay, stop being mean. Okay, um, let me see. Hey, I'm coming in hot right behind. Okay. Oh, I see. I see the one that you're on. Oh, yeah, that is okay, huge. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm going to jump off. Uh, Ash, just chill the beans. I know this is uncomfortable for you to deal with all these dead dragons, but... Dude, Please, you're not a little scaredy cat. You're good. Oh, you, man. You, you Look at the size dead of this guy. Okay, like, can I can I harvest it with his bones? Or... Oh, it's crazy. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back up to the nest because I saw a dragon up here. It looks like he just passed away, man. Oh, you're on the one I saw. Okay, I'm going over. Yeah, I'm right here. Okay, um, sorry Thanks. for... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's still moving. He's still moving. Okay. Oh, I think, that's not good. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Um, maybe... Okay, try, try a little... Oh, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I harvested some dragon scales from him. Whoa! <gasps> Oh, well, okay, I harvested from him, dude. I got a... Uh, ugh, gross. I got a dragon heart. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, uh, you do know your job, Gosh, right? Squeeze, squeeze, the, <laughs> squeeze, oh. squeeze the blood from the dragon heart, Jack. We need it, dude. Oh, oh, but how do, I, how do I get the bones? Do, like, do I bash it? Oh, oh, whoa. Did you get some there? Dude, I got three dragon bones and a dragon skull. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I, look, I, don't, I, don't feel, I don't feel good about doing this, man. Okay, there's another dragon up here. Well, this one is like super small. Okay, oh, oh. He must have been one of the sick ones. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I got another dragon heart. That's good. That's good. Oh, and I got more okay. bones. Okay, he was only small. Are you so over my head? I only got one bone. Okay, I've got to find you, dude, to give you this dragon heart. Woo! Okay. Okay, I, I got down towards the next nest. Okay, I'm down with you, bro. I'm right here. Okay, take, okay, take gonna, this hit. Oh, keep on... Okay, chill, bro. You should keep okay. running away. I've got to give you this heart so you can take the blood from it. Okay, get the blood from that as well. Um, Whoa, where else? Is... Okay, there's probably more oh. over here. Um, okay, there's another one here that I can maybe get bones from. Yeah, okay, I got another I got another set of bones, dude. Wow, look at the size of that one, Robo East. Okay, I'm going to go down. I'm going to just check here real quick. Nothing up here. Um, east, you're saying? Where, which way is east? Okay, there's I'm, one. I'm there's one east. east on the actual mountain top. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm over at him now. Let me see if I can get some more bones from him. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, I got loads of bones. Okay, I've got, oh, a, I've got awesome. enough. I've got enough bones, dude. So can you see if you can get any withered bones? I just, yeah, I just picked up a withered bone there. Okay, we only need four wither bones, dude, and. Okay, I've got... Yeah, we need eight of your bones, four wither bones, and then, what, I think it's four vials, right? 
Yeah, okay, so you need, you've got two hearts. Did, did, was there enough blood in two hearts? Yeah, here, Robo, here. I'm going to give you all the material. Okay, nice, nice. Toss him, toss him, toss him, toss him. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh, my days. Okay, that's four vials okay, of the fire one, dragon blood. One, two, three, four. What is that? That is the... Oh, wait, they just disappeared. I didn't get those. Oh, okay, here. You ready? You, you, ready? you must have picked them back up again. Okay, okay. yeah. Okay. One. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Chill. Okay, got it. Two. Okay, it's weird. They're, they're, okay. Three. Well, they're weirder, so they're, they're yeah, kind they're of kind of frim, flimsy. All right, okay, three. you just hold them for a second, dude, because I think they're kind of breaking. So, uh, all right, let's get up to the top here, because he said there was a place to craft them up here, maybe. <gasps> there it is. Look, oh, the platform. Whoa, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, I gotta grab those withered bones off you. All right, dude, I have the stuff, and I'm guessing I go into the middle of this, right? Uh, yeah, it's, that's the enchanted crafting table. Okay, but well, I know from the... Okay, okay, okay. So I need just one withered bone, right? Um, oh, you can make, like, withered shards with that. And then I need two... Oh, yeah, dude, there it is. Holy it moly. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I've got to just put everything in. Um, let me see, because I need four of these, right? Dragon bone sword. Oh, dude, I have Did got... it work? Did it work? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got four dragon bone swords right now. Four. <laughs> Sick, bro. Okay, okay, so now you need to add the vial to them, bro. Right, okay, so I've got the fire dragon blood, so let me just put that there and that there. Oh, yes, dude! Did it work? We got it, man. We got it. Yes, okay. okay. You, need to, you need to get all four of them. Dude, I now have five. I've got my own plus all these other ones. Yes, dude, this was such oh, a success. BTW. Whoop, 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 whoop. BTW, B by the way, yeah. what's up? Whoever else joins their nation, they're not getting these swords, Rubble, because the hassle we went through for. Yeah, come on. I think whoever joins their nation, it's the Inferno Nation, should definitely get a Flame Dragon Sword. I mean, that's a thing. That is now our thing. If you're a part of the Inferno Nation, you get a Flame Dragon Bone Sword. That's just that's just the way it is now. All right, bro, we are back, and I think Ash is getting a little bit tired, bro. He's kind of, like, slowing down. It doesn't look like any of the Elf Nation guys are up on top of the volcano, so they must have hit the hay for the night, but I don't really want to tell them straight away, dude, because I've got to show you something. When do we get to tell them that they're our new slaves? <laughs> They're not a new slaves. They're part of the Inferno Nation. We're giving them gifts of awesome dragon swords, and they're going to be part of the Inferno Nation. They're not our slaves. They're our first yeah, warriors. Well, we're, we're leaders. So yes. Yeah, so. Say doesn't mean that they're our slaves, dude. You are. You are broken. You are seriously broken. Okay, come on, dude. I've got something to show you. I've been working on something. And I didn't really want to tell you because I'm not really sure what I think of them myself. So I need your opinion, okay? So these dudes are used to being an elf nation. They've got forest dragons because it's kind of an elf nation thing. They've got green kind of clothes, but I oh, can't... No. Oh, well, did you did you, did you just spawn like about 20 of them and then just... Okay, go, 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 go. I okay. go. So, yeah, like I said, I've been working on something, dude, that I'm not really sure if it looks cool. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but stop punching me. Seriously, stop punching me. Um, they look kind of cool, but I'm not sure they look as cool as they could, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? No, make zero, 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 zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, just come on over here. Check this out, right? Um, I've got this little area over here that you don't know about. Okay, so can you guess what's behind this door? Um, chocolate for your big fat belly. No, not chocolate for my big fat belly, but, um... Boom! Inferno Nation clothing for our warriors! That's awesome. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's bad. Yes, okay. So I know this is like total a granny kind of a thing to be hiding out and doing with the wool and the knitting and the sewing and stuff like that. But, I mean, do you think the Elf Nation guys would look pretty awesome in that suit holding this sword? Yes, but I also would like this suit holding that sword. Okay, well we could we could make one for ourselves, but dude, this is the only one I have. And we... well, I think I think for going into battle, like say, I don't know, say the Elf Nation contacts and say that they're under it. We'd look terrible walking around in 
well, what you're wearing. Yeah, our hoodies and, and stuff. Wearing, okay, yeah, we do need we some. Arrive, yeah, yeah. If we, we arrive got... in these, we look fierce. We would look fierce. Okay, but um, okay, get in the rocket chair. Oh, there's only one. No. Okay, get on the wheel and uh, okay. get some wool and you start. Good luck, some... I'll talk what? To you for more. No, don't. Oh, okay. He has got me there. He usually does all the building, so it looks as if I'm stuck here for the night doing all the sewing. And then we'll go to the Elf Nation guys and tell them that they're fully-fledged members of the Inferno Nation, but I suppose I've got to get to work. Hmm. Robo! Robo, you down here? Yeah, I'm here, dude. What's up? Oh, uh, hey. What's going on? Yeah, I'm good, bro. But check it out. I finished four of the suits, armor, whatever you want to call them, but I am tired, dude. What time is it? I'm going to get some sleep. It's um, 10 past 4. What do you mean 10 past 4? The next day? Yeah, of course. Oh, what is that in your hand? Chocolate. Oh, okay, dude. Grab the suits. Come on. I'm gonna go tell the Elf Nation guys the good news that they are joining our nation. Okay. Whoa, man. What happens if we say, "Oh, oh. come on, let's. Why don't you join us?" And then they're like, "Uh, no." What do you mean, eh, no? Dude, they're definitely gonna join us. They love us. They're like, they're, they've are they been hanging out here. Look at the place that we made for them, man. They're, they're loving it here. There's no way that this could go wrong. Okay, oh, coming in hot, coming in hot. They're all here, they're all here. They're like gathering. Okay, they're waiting for news. Whoa, hey, guys, what's happening? Good morning to you all. Marin, what's happening, bro? Uh, he says, good morning, guys. So what's the news from the king? Okay, so guys, funny you should ask that. We are um, joy kings. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're talking about different things. Talk about different yeah, things. Just, just zip it. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, I see you guys have kind of weapons there, but they're let's be honest, they're not the best weapons. But anyway, the news from the king is that he said, if you guys agree, that is, that you can become fully fledged members of our nation, the Inferno Nation. The king has given permission for you guys to defect from the Elf Nation and join the Inferno Nation if you want. Now, before you make your decision, we have been on a bit of a quest over the last day and we have got you something. Check these out. Okay, sorry, Jack there. Let me just pop these down for the guys. We have got you brand new flame dragon swords, one each, because that's what you get when you join the Inferno Nation. We also yeah. have some awesome new outs outfits for you guys. Jack, yeah, Jack put, put, the, put the outfits down. Okay, Jack's gonna get the outfits down there and show you guys, but what do you These say? These are gonna be the best dressed slaves in all the land. No. He's kidding with the whole slave thing. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so what do you guys think? I mean, we've got your new weapons. Do you want to join the Inferno Nation? Okay, Myron says, well, that's amazing. We had hoped that that is what the king wanted for us. Yes! Okay, we would love to join the Inferno Nation and help become one of the strongest nations in all the lands. Our armor and weapons are perfect. We are forever grateful, Ropo and Jack. We four promise to uphold the honor and goals for the Inferno Nation to the best of our abilities. Inferno till we die. Ah, oh, yes, Jack, did you hear that? That is sick. Is that, is that like a chant? Inferno till we die. Inferno, Inferno till, till we die. die. No, wait, wait. I know I am. I'm sure I am. Till I die. No. Mm, could be no. something like that. But guys, okay, put on your new outfits, grab your new swords, and let us see what the new Inferno Nation looks like. <laughs> Jack, this is all coming together. Ooh, this is awesome. Ah, oh, yes, Jack. Look at these guys. Myron, guys, you look sick. New outfits are awesome. And obviously, you look super intimidating with your new swords. But this is so good. Jack, we're finally getting this whole thing down. I mean, the Inferno Nation, if any of the bad guys or Fire Nation or whoever tried to come up here and they saw those warriors waiting, they would be seriously scared. So our nation has grown from two to two dragons, two humans, to six dragons, six humans, and two eggs, and four warriors, and two scaredy cats. Well, not well, well, you, one scaredy cat. What you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, well, I'm only joking. Yeah, this is sick. We've got our four new warriors now. I mean, we're even with the elf nation, and we will always help them from now on, and they will help us. So we've got an awesome ally in the elf nation, some sick new warriors, and uh, yeah, our dragon eggs could be hatching pretty soon, so it's going to be an exciting week. Guys, make sure you smash the like button on this video. We're going to go for 1,500 likes on this one. 
And uh, yeah, they should leave comments below, Jack, right? And let us know what we should do for the rest of this week. But I feel like we're gonna go on a little adventure to try maybe capture a new dragon because uh, we need something. We need something a bit exciting this week, right? Well, we also need to try hatch our eggs. Yeah, well, that just happens over time. I don't know when that's gonna happen. Like that could happen like in two seconds, or it could happen in like two <gasps> weeks. <laughs> It could happen right now. Okay, I'm going over to the eggs. He's, he's I'll going, see you later, Rupo. He's going over to the eggs. Guys, we're going to leave it there for today, but pretty awesome episode today that we got to have some new warriors and members of the Inferno Nation. So make sure you hit that like button. But until next time, from myself, the new Inferno Nation guys, and Jack, we out. Peace. Bye, guys.